Welcome to Crafting with Gabby. Yay, I'm Gabby. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys for tuning in. Now, today we're going to do a DIY Dollar Tree unicorn headband. And I say Dollar Tree because it is already made. It already has its horn, but we're going to make it look even better. So all you need is to pick up a headband at Dollar Tree, cherry blossoms, which is what I'm using, and a couple gems. Now, you can use whatever floral you have. Or here's a hint, if you don't have any floral or any ribbon, go ahead and ask around your family, your friends. Somebody will definitely share. So all you want to do is go ahead and pick out your ribbon. Monica chose purple, so that's what we're going to do with this one. And all you're going to do is glue on both sides of the horn and start wrapping it. So don't be worried about twisting it and wrapping it. Go ahead and do that because of the shape of the horn. You're going to have to go ahead and do that anyways because we want it as tight as possible. So all you're going to do is wrap and twist wherever you feel that you can't get through. And go ahead and put as much glue as you want. I added glue where I felt I needed more glue. But remember, it's your DIY and you can't DIY if you don't try. So go ahead, guys. Let's DIY. Once you are already at the top of the horn, you want to go ahead and cut a piece just so you have enough to wrap around and glue down. So all you want to do is add some glue and glue it down as best as you can. So if you feel that at the tip it is showing, go ahead and just put some glue and pull the ribbon up slowly. And now we're going to go ahead and pluck our flowers. Now these are cherry blossoms from Dollar Tree and I love them. They are so cute. You could even add bling to the flowers, but Monica doesn't want it there. She wants it at the top. So let's go ahead and put our flowers. So go ahead and add glue to the bottom. And I did go a little overboard, but go ahead and pick it up with your glue gun and stick them back on there. It should be fine. Now, all you want to do is go ahead and turn it around and add your white. We are adding pink on one side and white on the other. So whenever she feels like she wants to go white, she'll go white. And whenever she wants to go pink, she'll go pink. So once again, go ahead and pluck your flowers. And I forgot to tell you to cut the little... The little nub off and go ahead and glue them directly on to your headband i think that this is so cute by itself so if you like it you are done and if you want to add some more you go ahead and feel free remember it's your diy but we are going to go ahead and add a gem on each side and all you're going to do is add some glue and add your favorite gem whether you want it to be clear silver they come in different colors so that's a plus so go ahead and add it with a dot of glue and remember to remove all your little strings. And we're going to do is to flip it and add it to the other side as well. And you should have bling on both sides. Now, this is a really cute idea just because I like to play dress up. And it gives them a little touch of sparkle. So how cute is that? And we are done. Take a look at our cute little headband. Oh my goodness, it is adorable. Now, Veronica's will be plain because she doesn't like um, a lot of stuff on her head or hair. But I am so pleased with how they came out. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, share with me on Instagram. I would love to see your work. And till next time, bye guys.